Okay, uh, some of my friends on the Linux distro community suggested that I have a look at this, and interestingly enough, I already had this downloaded because I went on uh, DistroWatch and uh, and I wanted to uh, have a look at this. We're looking at Tiny Me. This is a Mandriva or Unity Linux-based distribution, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All oh, right, Tiny Me is still in alpha stage, but um, I thought I'd have a look at this because uh, I'm always I've always been intrigued by these minimal distributions that are out there, and um, this one uses a combination of both OpenBox and LXDE. Now, when I right-click on the desktop, an OpenBox menu does come up. However, when I go into Applications, we do get an error here saying failed to execute command for pipe menu. Okay, and that is kind of to be expected. This is probably a little niggle that's being worked out and that sort of thing. So, but this is something I'm going to be looking at down the line. Now, you get Conky on your uh, upper right-hand corner of the screen, and you can see that the RAM usage is minimal. Uh, 140 megs is being used presently, and th there isn't much CPU being used. Uh, I know some people ask me to uh, measure the CPU and uh, RAM usage, and that's kind of hard for me to do unless I had Conky running on uh, these distributions. You have a little clock right here. This is powering. The, the panel you see at the bottom is the LX panel. Okay, and then you have two desktops to choose from, and then you have some packages here. You get the uh, Smart Package Manager, you get Configure Your Computer, you get M-Edit, NetSurf, and then a File Manager. Let me go ahead and open up that File Manager real quick. All right, and uh, let's see which File Manager this gives us here. Yes, this is using PC Man FM. I'm using this as a secondary file manager on my system. Very lightweight, uh, very nice indeed. It looks like they included a nice uh, little icon set with this as well. You get the uh, NetSurf web browser with this, which is another nice little lightweight web browser. Uh, this is the uh, Unity Linux Control Center. This is based on uh, Mandriva, which is which Unity is based off of. And um, uh, yeah, is this based on Unity or Mandriva? I, you decide, huh? <laughs> but at any rate, everything you'll need to configure your system is right here, all in a nice little convenient uh, panel, which is really nice. And then it also has a nice little package management system as well. So this could actually be a nice uh, distribution for beginners to, or people who have a little bit of experience with Linux and want to have a minimal system that they can build on top of. Now, as I said, this is an alpha, so it's not quite ready yet, but I will be keeping an eye on this uh, as time goes. Now, if I just go through the menus here, you're going to see there is not really a whole lot here. You get GNOME, PPP, uh, Network Center, Transmission. They all include Transmission for some reason there. You get the Type VNC Viewer. In Office, you get Abbey Word and Osmo. In Graphics, you get View Noir. In Sound and Video, the Asunder CD Ripper. AU Mix, Dead Beef for playing music, and Parole. And then in Tools, you can customize the look and feel. Calculator, Nitrogen, which is uh, the desktop wallpaper configurator, I believe. Open Box Configuration Manager, Preference for Applications, Regional Settings, Root Terminal, Tilde, X term, and then of course M edit again. Let's look at the customized look and feel and let's see what kind of things we can tweak with this. Okay, this just simply runs LX appearance. So now we can just go in and we can 
uh, change the appearance to something else that we want. And it looks doesn't look like it gives us a huge selection at this time. But then again, this is lightweight. This file was just under 250 megabytes, if I remember correctly. So all in all, this is a good base distribution to build off of. I'd like to see this once it has had time to mature and there is a final release for it. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Plus, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions, send me a private message. I will try my best to answer your questions. And if I do not know the answer, in all likelihood, that may be the case. I will at least try and send you in the right direction. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.